okay now for those that have uh, an AK variant so basically I'm also going to show you how I clean and lubricate the AK this is a, a C39 I you know been cleaning it the way I do it the way I've done it um, and I never have an issue with it okay C39 never have an issue with it I, that's why I still have it and I will continue to own it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it apart I'm not gonna show you guys that because you guys should already know how to take it apart if you don't there's a uh, other YouTube videos for that but go ahead and make you know do your research I'll be back okay so I already uh, taken it apart I'm gonna head and remove this right here I, and yes I do use a buffer which you don't have to this is just more of a prevention type of thing there's other you know YouTube videos for that let's not pay attention to that and um, this is already clean I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down and re it again just to show you guys what I do so with the AK all right with the AK let me go ahead and take that out first make sure it's wiped that's it so let's say you've taken apart your a you know your dirty AK um, what I do is pretty much very simple I spray WD-40 all over this you know just spray some in there especially in this area right here you know some in this area right here and, or you know you, again like I said you don't have to use WD-40 you can use uh, COP you know it's good for breaking up carbon I just use what I have right now at the moment that's it okay and with same thing with my AR video same tools that's it just trying to keep it as simple as I can there are other better tools for this but this is what I have this is what I'm using just to make it simple um, with the uh, AK parts we're gonna go ahead and start using our toothbrush in this area some in this area okay you know start brushing some of this carbon off you know especially right here I notice that there's some carbon deposit here so what I do again I'm just gonna use the same thing scrape that's it and then start wiping it down very simple it's with the uh, AK it is actually extremely simple you know that's all you have to do you have to do much to it okay Gonna put my rag in there. And the same thing here in this part. Okay. With the AK, it's just extremely simple. I mean, it's so much simple to clean it. And that's it. Okay. Um, with this part right here, spring, just you know, spray some WD-40 there. Sit, let it sit, and start wiping it off. Get some of that carbon dust all and all in there. That's it. That's all with that. Same thing here. Spray WD-40 and wipe. Okay. All right. That's done. That does not need any more cleaning than what I've just done. Okay. Uh, same thing. You know the bolt. I forgot. I think I did the bolt. You know. WD-40 and clean because I never I, I be honest with you guys I never seen any carbon deposit anywhere in here none so that's what I do you know spray some WD-40 brush it off wipe done make sure it does that okay you don't want to have anything sticking in there, so WD-40. I never take this apart, by the way. WD-40, okay? Go like this, and make sure it's clicking. 
that's the sound that it should make. Okay. If it's not doing that sound, I would suggest to tear it apart. But that's all I do with mines. Never taking that apart. And I've shot many rounds. Again, I don't know if I'm put I'm you know putting in WD-40 in there, letting it sit, all that carbon starts coming off, and I wipe it. That's all I do. I have not taken this apart at all. And I don't put I don't plan to by the way. Alright, so that's that with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this part. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do here. Okay. Basically, I go ahead and again I spray some WD-40 here. Spray some over here. Some over here. Okay. Get my brush. As much as I can in there. Start, you know, brushing. Wash it off with WD-40. Put some in the barrel. Wipe down the barrel with a borsnick if you have one. And start wiping as much as you can. Start wiping in there. Especially in this area. Make sure, basically make sure it looks clean like this. That's it. That's all it takes, okay? Um, now let's go ahead and lube it up and put it back together. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and lube this up and put it back together. Um, you can't go wrong with white lithium grease to as a lubrication or if you don't have any of that and you just have uh, engine oil mobile one, um, you can just use mobile one if you have if that's the only thing that you have you don't have to it's just what i've been doing again either or that it's i like using grease on my ak don't ask me why it's just something that i've been doing so what i do is you know spray that much and again just start smudging it everywhere that's it That's what I use. That's what I do. What that's what I've done. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put so it doesn't get clean. If I put it in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Um, same thing with this right here. You don't have to oil this part at all, or you know, you can just leave it in there as if. But uh, it's just me. No one is going to stop me from doing what I'm doing right now. Okay. Put some in this part because this part right here gets a lot of action and in here too okay and also by the way I've learned I've noticed that when shooting you know when shooting at the range you know, it, it holds up, it doesn't evaporate. It just holds up. That's, you know, whether using grease or using uh, engine oil, it does not evaporate like some of the uh, gun oils that I've used before. And friends, I noticed that it just evaporates. You know, when they look at, you know, after, after you know, 60, 100 rounds and you look through the bolt, it's dried up. You know, it's just completely dried up. I'm gonna go ahead and use this in here to make sure the grease is well spread. That's it. Okay. This right here, you don't have to oil it. You can just use whatever you have in your hand and and you know basically do what I'm doing right now. That's it. That's all it takes. That's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it back.
See? That's what I'm talking about. Whenever it shoots and 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 basically when whenever it does it, its whole action, it's that's where you need that grease. There you go. And I've been doing this with my C39, never had any issues with it. Uh, this is this is what it looks like when I put it up when I when I put it up you know apart when I basically assemble it back in I'm sorry that's what it looks like is it a lot nope if you think it's a lot back off you know back off and use little if you want to it's basically your gun you can do whatever you want but again like I said it's just me it's how I've done it and again you do not see me at the range. You know, messing with my guns, I'm only having 100% fun, and they just keep shooting. And that's it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my rag and clean my hands so I don't have to put grease anywhere on the actual receiver. All right, now, as far as the receiver, okay this is what i do okay just a little bit okay just a little bit that's it Am I overdoing it? If I am, good. It's my gun. That's it. That's all I do. As far as lubrication on the receiver, that's it. That's all I do. Trigger group. Just try to get as much in there. And that's it. And just, you know, put it back together. <laughs> 